Hello guys welcome to my channel this is Uday Pandit and you are watching MEP Technical World. In this video we will learn about contactor sizing and selection basically how to calculate the contactor size for particular DOL starter okay according to our motor size okay so before I start the session I would like to request you if you are not yet subscribe my channel please subscribe my channel and also hit the bell icon so you'll get notification regarding my upcoming videos so let's get started so here we are going to calculate the size for contractor as well as MCB okay for DOL starter direct online starter for this AHU okay this is air handling unit in it we have a 5 HP motor okay so for this unit we are going to select the size of MCB contractor in next video we'll discuss about selection and sizing of thermal overload relay okay so in this video we only focus on these two parameters MCB and contactor okay for a starter and here this is the 5 HP induction motor inside this AHU okay which is connected to blower okay now we have some steps for uh, sizing the circuit breaker and contactor for a starter okay so DOL starter here I'm talking about DOL starter not a star delta starter okay so we'll discuss it later basically how to select the contactors for a star delta starter okay so this is for only for DOL starter okay so here we have some steps so in first step what we have to do we have to take the motor size okay then second step you have to calculate the full load current okay full load current of the motor as well motor capacity then in step 3 what we have to do we have to add 50% safety factor in above full load current okay or we can multiply with this 1.5 multiplying factor above to this full load current then finally as per this we will select the circuit breaker and contactor rating as per available in market okay so now let's follow these steps so first let's take the motor size so what is the motor size we have taken 5 hp okay now let's convert this hp into watt so as you know that 1 hp equal to 746 watt so let's multiply with 5 into 746 it becomes 3730 watts so this is the wattage of our selected motor okay so this is the motor what else okay now according to this now we have to calculate the full load current okay in a step 2 so as you know that p is equal to this is the power of the motor so 3730 kill sorry this is watt not a kilowatt sorry okay now this is the formula for three phase powers so p equal to square root 3 multiply with b means voltage multiply with current okay and cos phi which is power factor so let's calculate current full load current equal to p divided by square root 3 into v into power factor now let's put the value of power which is 3730 watt and divided by this factor so root 3 becomes 1.7 3.2 into voltage 415 okay and power factor 0 0.8 if we calculate this it will become 6.48 ampere so this is our full load current FLC we can say okay now first for breaker sizing so in a step 2 we have calculated full load current now for breaker sizing what we have to do we have to add the 50 percent current to above full load current okay so full load current is 6.48 now circuit breaker rating is calculated current which is flc full load current into 1.5 so 6.48 into 1.5 it becomes 9.73 ampere so this is the circuit breaker sizing size for dual starter as per 5 hp motor okay now we have to select the proper size of circuit breaker as per available in market okay so we are going to select the breaker rating as per available in market so here we have a circuit breaker selection chart okay so these are the ratings uh, from 6 ampere to 5000 ampere is available in market so our calculated is 9.5 9.73 okay so we always select above then this value not below than this value okay so 9.7 which is near to 10 okay 
so 10 is our circuit breaker size okay so our purpose circuit breaker size is 10 ampere tp mcb not a mccb sorry this is a mcb okay now come to contactor size okay for dol starter so same as above we have to add 50 percent current to above calculated current full load current so this is our full load current 6.48 ampere and we have to add for contactor sizing so contactor sizing is equal to calculated current which is flc multiply with 1.5 multiplying factor okay so 6.48 into 1.5 this become 99.73 ampere okay now as per this uh, rating we have to select the contactor as per available in the market so this is our contactor sizing uh, table so here we have a range from 9 ampere to 2250 ampere okay so this is uh, our calculated one is 9.7 uh, 3 so this is around about here so we uh, always select above the this value okay not below the this value so this is our 12 ampere so proposed contractor size is 12 ampere tp triple pole okay so our circuit breaker is 10 ampere and contactor is 12 ampere okay now here we have a contactor type some of contactor types so during this selection we have to also consider these types okay before finalize the contactors so so these are the types which is available in the market ac1 ac2 ac3 and ac4 some of also other types also but these are the main one okay so ac1 is generally this type of contactor generally used for resistive load okay resistive load like a heating elements which is used to which is used to use uh, heat the waters warm the waters or other application basically so in resistive load we can select the ac1 type ac1 type contactor but here we are going to use we are going to select for 5 hp motor so motor is basically inductive load okay inductive load major inductive load so this is not in our ac1 category because this is for mainly for resistive load and another one is ac2 so this is used for wherever we need high starting torque high starting torque okay so in that case we use ac2 contactor so generally we use this for slipping induction motor okay so we can use in it elevator as well elevator okay and ac3 so this is the most common one so most of the contactor used in this so in industry most of this type of contactor is used ac3 okay which is generally used in a squirrel case induction motor okay so for our application ahu 5 sp which is generally this is a, uh, this is a uh, inductive or a squirrel case induction motor so here we gonna select this one ac3 type contactor okay and for ac4 actually we we have a frequently on off operation we can say in thing operation so at that situation at that application we will will use this one ac4 contactor okay like a crane we have a, a frequently on off means up down left right this type of operation happens so this uh, kind of ac4 type of contactor there will be used okay so wherever you have required like a frequently on off on off application you have to use this type of contactor ac4 type okay so in this condition our 5 sp motor condition we gonna use ac3 types okay so most of the our industrial load means our square cage motor this one is used ac3 okay so finally here we have a calculated so our mcb size is for dol starter for this ahu is 10 ampere tp mcb and 12 ampere tp mcb ac3 types okay so in this video we have selected mcb and contactor in next video we will talk about thermal overload relay sizing and selection okay so hope you guys understand about basically how to select the contactor for dol starter and mcb for dol starter so thank you for watching this video please like share comments and subscribe and also hit the bell icon so you will get notification regarding my upcoming video thank you very much see you again in next video